Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. We're in Houston and made it all the way on Katy, which is not Houston. It's practically all the way to El Paso. <laughs> what? You, you cross from Louisiana into Texas at the state border, and it shows you Houston 113. And swear to God, I've never seen a higher mileage number in my life. It says El Paso 857. It's like, what are you just giving us the bird? Like, yeah, fuck you if you're going to El Paso. <laughs> Anyway, it has nothing to do with this. This is an asshole consulting request. If you have a request or need some kind of consultation, contact me over at assholeconsulting.com. It doesn't have to be a video. It can be private, of course. Or if you want a video, uh, we can always anonymize, uh, anonymize it. Uh, and an anonymous person writes, I would like a video response and to remain anonymous. I'm a 20-year-old community college student getting my prerequisites out of the way. I'm pursuing a degree in geology. I currently live with my mother in a county in California. My relationship with my mother has stressed me out lately because of her irresponsibility with money due to the fact that she borrowed over $1,000 from me because she overdid it on Christmas shopping. This situation is especially stressful because it was taken out of my house savings, but since she pays the rent, it's hard for me to get through to her about her delinquent transactions. I find myself lacking control with my situation because she makes the monetary decisions, although bad ones. I do contribute financially around the house, as well as clean everything. Fortunately, I'm very close to my maternal grandparents, and they are financially stable and will be moving to Arizona soon because of the cost of living. I half-jokingly asked them if I could move in with them. They very quickly said yes, and I'd be fine with it as long as I stay in school and earn my uh, keep, uh, rent, lifting things, cleaning should I move to Arizona knowing I'll have to take a year off to school and establish a residency? What should I do during the year off from school? If you agree, knowing that my grandparents are in their late 60s, is this a smart decision? Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know what, dude? Absolutely. 100%. Um, <clears throat> now, I am going to expose one thing about you, but it's not going to nail or identify you. You're Latino, and I've seen this in the Latino community, and I'm just going to be blunt. I don't know what the fuck it is with Latino parents. I've seen this also, not just strictly Latino, but the trailer trash white community. Um, but especially pronounced in Latino, I don't know what the fuck it is with your parents and spending, but it's bullshit, but that's not the thing that really irks me or I'm confused about is why you children tolerate this. Um, is it blood is thicker than water? Is it something to do with Latino culture? I mean, seriously, I don't know. Um, I, I have a, perhaps a, a little, a non-Latino relationship. Obviously I'm not Latino, perhaps maybe more antagonistic or independent. Um, but from what I've grown up, not just me, but all my other friends in my community, predominantly white, it was, I can't wait to get the fuck away from my parents. Um, so I don't know if this is this is more of a um, Latin culture, and by Latin I don't just mean Latino, I mean like Mediterranean, like you go to Italy, around the Mediterranean, and, and it's, people stay at home a longer time. So uh, whatever it is, it's bullshit, because your mom stole money from you, that's what happened. Okay, you can say, oh, she makes bad decisions, you come up with, no. She stole money from you, and it's fucking bullshit, and it ends. It ends now, because you have to have self-respect. And it really angers me uh, when I see, this is child abuse, that's what this is. Even though you're an adult, this is still child abuse. And, and it's the biggest of hip hop. Not only is it cowardly, it's just despicable, because you're putting your child in a tough situation. It's like, I'm stealing from my child, so I'm going to present the child that, that, that not only am I a thief, I am stealing from them myself as the adult, but they're going to have to forgive me and I'll put them in hard, hard, between a rock and a hard place. So I would be leaving your mother ASAP, right fucking now. Even if you don't go with your grandparents, you get the fuck out. Okay, You are not there to support your mother. You're not. Your mother fucked some guy. I notice there's not a dad mentioned here. Where that guy is, I don't know. All right, uh, And now, the, or... or Therefore, uh, she and your dad are responsible to bring you up to a certain point that you are independent and can support yourself. They are not then to immediately parasite off of you, especially when you're going to school and you're in the worst financial shape that you're ever going to be in your life because of school. So 
I don't care. Somebody hasn't hasn't uh, uh, slapped her hand or told her no. A grown, full grown adult woman stealing money from a child to spend money on Christmas gifts? No, no, that's that's not going to happen. So uh, you need to cut her off. Uh, I'm not saying you don't talk to her, you don't spend time with her or anything, but you move out uh, because th- you're not going to carry this parasite with you for the rest of your life. Life will be a lot easier financially for you. Uh, I do love the idea of you going and, and living with your grandparents um, in Arizona. Uh, they're kind of old. They probably like to spend time with you. It's also good that you would have someone that you know. You'd have a social network. Uh, they sound like they're very loving and caring. Um, I just I'm worried though that they're going to like take advantage of you too and charge an arm and a leg for for rent. But see if it's if it's reasonable. Uh, you would inevitably find your own place to live in Arizona. You know, kind of help out grandma and grandpa that kind of thing. Establish a friendship. Kind of figure out where you want to go to school. Gain residency, exactly, get in-state tuition, and then start over. And then what you would do during the entire meantime um, <clears throat> is you'd work your ass off, uh, maybe even two jobs if you could, preferably one being a security guard. Heck, you're a young guy. Have you ever thought about the military again? I know, I know, I always say it, but I say it because I, I recommend it. Uh, but I get two jobs, build up as much money as you can, uh, any debts you got, pay them off, you know, shore up your financial situation, build up a good cash reserve. Um, find yourself a job that you can study on uh, uh, as well. You know, that's why I recommend security guard work. And then um, once you get your residency, then go back to school and finish your prereqs. Also, I think if you um, if you go through it, you'll uh, if you're doing prereqs but you don't know what you want to major in, um, you maybe have an idea. So kind of experiment that year because once you go to school dude it's hard to fucking do other shit so i'd be taking cons academy classes i'd be sampling figure out what you want to do for the next two years after you get your prereqs out of the way but yeah just work at least one of those jobs is where you're sitting down with a laptop you have internet access and you can do something and, and figure out and do some research um yeah and then go back to school and yeah get get away from your mom time to put her on ice dude time to put her on ice you're done with that bullshit so whether you pull the trigger or not that's not up to me that's up to you but yeah, dude, that's what I would do. Oh, and then also, because we mentioned we had a, another exchange, um, you're presumably going to be in the will for this. No, you're not. D- d- don't operate from that because the, your mom is going to lure that over you. She goes, well, I'm not going to put you in the will in the house. If you're already paying rent and the lion's share of it, <clears throat> but you're not on the deed, the way she's acting all scummy and screwing you over, she was never going to put you on that deed anyway. All right? Um, so, uh, and you shouldn't be living your life for other people because they dangle property or values and valuables in front of you. That's just, no, you're a slave then. No way. And they always renege. They always renege. Don't, you have got to build up your own. You cannot trust anyone, especially your parents in this world. This is, this is not the United States of 1940 where you had nice baby or uh, uh, World War II generation parents. This is, this is where you have baby boomer and uh, Gen X parents and they're, they're pretty much fucking scum. And, and I'm of that generation. And trust me, I know because I went to school and dated. Anyway, best of luck to you, kid. Get the fuck out and start living for yourself and say hi to grandma and grandpa for me. Doodles.